And here we go, another signing out of Seattle. Just a little while ago, they brought in a safety in Kavon Wallace, but now we're making another move today. According to Mike Garofolo, the Seahawks are expected to sign veteran defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins. Hankins was in for a visit with the team today, and it looks like they will come to an agreement on a deal to him for him to remain in Seattle with the Seahawks for the foreseeable future. Now, we don't know what the compensation is, but I guarantee you it's most likely going to be a one-year deal. That's kind of what they've been doing so far this offseason, but this is going to be a very good upgrade to their depth here in Seattle, and I can already see what Mike McDonald is doing, and this man is a genius. In this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about the signing and why it helps the Seattle Seahawks going forward. Before we jump into the video, though, do me a big favor. Um, make sure you guys comment down below a letter grade so far for the offseason season for Seattle and if you guys want me to drop a part I believe two or three on the entire offseason breakdown let me know comment down below part two down below and also subscribe if you're new it's free doesn't cost anything to join the family but let's get into the video now the number one thing you're going to notice here about Jonathan Hankins is he is up there he's 31 years old he is an NFL veteran but he's a guy that is going to be a massive help along the interior of the defensive line for the Seattle Seahawks now don't get me wrong he's not going to come in here and be a day one starter he's not going to be someone who is going to play three downs every single possession but he's more of a guy that is going to help in situational running downs now what I mean by that is when you look last season the Seattle Seahawks were one of the worst teams in the NFL in terms of stopping the run they rank number 27 in yards allowed per rush they rank number 31 in yards rush yards allowed per game and number 30 in rushing touchdowns allowed per game they really struggled when it came down to it the knit and grit areas of the field which is the red zone right they could not stop teams in the red zone in terms of running the football right and then passing the ball wise they were injured they're they're getting better they added some depth already to their secondary which uh, Rashawn Jenkins Kevon Wallace right they added to the linebacking core they just needed someone who can plug up the middle Jonathan Hankins is a guy who is 6'2 320 pounds a former second round pick back in 2013 the typical NFL veteran spent some time in New York Indianapolis uh, Oakland Las Vegas and most recently Dallas now last season with Dallas had a really good season 27 tackles three sacks as well as three run stuffs as well but primarily played as someone who just was utilized inside that red zone area but can also right the number one thing I do like about him as well is if you have an injury let's just say Jerron Reed goes down with an injury Jonathan Hankins is good enough to be a spot starter which is very valuable in the NFL right it's the NFL guys get injured guys miss games but when you have the depth when you have the the um you know the versatility to have someone come off the bench and be a spot starter for you but give you you know relatively good production that's what separates you from being a good football team from being a great football team now last season obviously the Seahawks weren't a great football team uh, they, they had a lot of injuries there was a lot of question marks which is why they went a different direction hired Mike McDonald who was a genius and will put these guys in the right situation to win football games this man, Jonathan Hankins, is massive. He's going to clog up the middle, and he's going to fill a massive role for the Seahawks that they needed, right? I love this team right now. When you look at the roster, Leonard Williams, Jerron Reed, Draymond Jones up front, they are big. This 3-4 defense, you need big interior defensive linemen, and that's exactly what they have and what they're adding with Jonathan Hankins. You also have Boye Mafe and Yuchenna Nwosu, who I think is probably going to break out next season and be a pro bowler, right? You add Terrell Dotson, Jerome Baker to the inside linebacker core. You lost Jordan. Brooks and Devin Bush so you needed to upgrade that area that's exactly what they did secondary Michael Jackson Rashawn Jenkins Kevon Wallace you've got Tariq Woolen Devon Witherspoon Julian Love this team is really set up for greatness but especially under Mike McDonald you're going to see a major surge upwards this season I guarantee you next year we're going to be looking at the Seattle Seahawks like damn how are they a top five off or top five defense this year Mike McDonald, McDonald and the guys he brought in fit perfectly in the system let me know what you guys feel about the signing. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. If you guys want the full breakdown to the offseason, um, let me know in the comments down below. I do want to break down the offense plus this addition as well. And Kevon Wall. So we do have some more to talk about here. The next Seattle Seahawks video will come out once this video drops or gets up to 400 likes. Comment down below part three, part two, whatever it is. I don't even care. Just comment something. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next update. Peace.